Today we making tilapia, tilapia, whatever you, however you pronounce it. Um, we got some margarita flatbread and some healthy choice ravioli and chicken. We kind of uh, doing a budget dinner. I bought these tilapias in a big bag for like ten bucks or whatever. Blah blah blah. Um, and then we got the Healthy Choice Steamers, which was on sale for two bucks. And the mar margarita bread. I um, go to Noodles and Company, and they got a couple of those because I didn't have all the other stuff in the house. So this is a light, kind of, you know, help, mo mostly healthy dish, light. And fat instead of your deep fried fish and you know spaghetti and you know all that which we do on Fridays so I'm trying to lose some weight and gain some muscle so this is what we gonna do so we got the um old bay seasoning excuse my shadows just gonna slap that dab that over make sure your fish is you know mostly dry but I mean a little wet. I just use this bag. The inside of the bag that came with the um, margarita bread. So we are gonna take some olive oil and heat this non-stick skillet up. We want a little bit of crust. Well I want a little bit of crust on my fish. So we gonna use that, and I'm gonna salt and pepper this and batter it with this um, fish batter. This is the wrong one. This beer batter. We don't want this. Okay, this is the one we want. The crispy southern fish fry, or you could just use whatever fish fry you use. I usually keep um, some on hand in the refrigerator which is a mixture of the fish fry, flour, and the self-rising flour and the um, cornmeal mix. So, I don't wanna use that one. I want the one with the lemon, the more of the lemony taste. So, I'm gonna use the Zatarain, Nolens, Nolens. kind of dirty in here from breakfast and from popping popcorn and stuff but hey we're gonna get this done we're gonna heat this up let this oil get hot and I'll be right back to you so we got the the healthy choice steam was going I do it like that just to be creative try to heat them heat both of them up at once I don't know if it works all the way but hey Got to be creative in the kitchen. That's what it's all about. All right. So now we got the hot oil. It's smoking a bit. It's kind of hot. So make sure you don't have the pan wet or whatever. Because I did. And it got the pocket on it. Water and oil do not mix. So we coated these with the Zatarain stuff, or you could just use your cornmeal. You know, it's, it's a lot of different ways. I think I put too much oil because this is like deep frying and I didn't want that. But hey, it's going now. We use olive oil, so it should be a bit healthier. But sometimes you can use flaxseed oil or whatever. Um, what up, grape seed oil? There's all types of different oils you can use to, to be healthier. And we got these still heating up. We got them, the crust still crunchy. I mean, cause it got a little soggy being in this container from the restaurant or whatever. We got a little soggy, so we just heating it up. And this is a good way to, um, and do your pizza too like leftover pizza throw a little bit of olive oil or something butter 
and put it at a real, real low um, flame up under the pan, non-stick. Perfect, perfect. Piece of the cheese melts and blah, blah, blah. You know what's going on. Kind of a late dinner, which has been late all the time, so. But hey, better late than never. Okay, we gonna continue up and plate up. Now I'll show you the end result. Damn, that microwave dirty. So what? Uh, I clean it. Flipped it on one side. We just going for a, a browning on each side and a little light crust. And that's it. What I was doing with the, the bowl and stack them on top of each other, I saw that on the internet somewhere, and I don't think I did it right, so it didn't work. Excuse my dirty microwave, I'm gonna clean up tonight. So we finishing up, and got this, we got this fish nice and brown. That's steady going, that's the brown and you want it tender, you know, cause it's a nice flaky fish, no bones. And we're going to play it up and get back to this Bears preseason game. The Bears. Don't forget to drain the grease off your fish on a napkin or either a cooling rack, whatever you, whatever, how you do it. So now we all plate it up, y'all. Mar margarita bread. Pan fried tilapia. Tilapia, whatever you want to call it. Got some spinach ravioli with chicken from um, Healthy Choice. And everything will feed about three adults. So, and you always got to recycle your condiments from your local restaurant. So, we got this Parmesan cheese. I didn't have any fresh, just ran out. So, enjoy. Peace, God bless.